We continue to celebrate our anniversary just two more days until the KTLA 5 morning news turns 30. Today, we're honoring the guy who does everything for you, the home viewer, my TV husband, Frank Buckley. A privilege sitting next to Frank every day delivering the news. And some of the things you're going to learn about, I think, over the next couple of minutes is what we do maybe in between doing the news. Oh, we no. talk about family, food, he sings, he dances, <laughs> all that good stuff during commercial breaks. So let's take a look back at Frank's time here at KTLA. Let's give it up for Frank Aqua Boogie Buckley. Look at this. I'm doing it. All right, here you go. You see? Look at that. He did it. Oh, man, these things are fast. I started in May of 2005. And just in case you're not sure who I am, I, of course, am your anchor man. I was a correspondent at CNN, and uh, at some point I talked to someone here at KTLA, and they said, Would you like to come over here? I grew up watching KTLA and I thought what an amazing place and opportunity, so I came over. I absolutely hoped I would be here 16 years later. This station is so important to Southern California. I love working here and in fact, I hope to spend the rest of my career here. Daily coronavirus cases continue to set new records and I always saw myself as a hard news guy. At, at heart, I still am a hard news guy. So the nighttime shift was more who I thought I was. But other people said, you know what? The guy who's not on TV being that serious journalist all the time, that's who you really are. All right, Eric, thanks a lot. Get thanks, us a donut. Man. But Eric Spillman said to me, just be yourself. Be the guy who I know. So I sort of took that to heart. Yes. You've never done. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. It took a while for me to get used to that, to just let myself go and to, to be myself, to trust the people around me. Don't go breaking my heart. Come on, Jess. And once that trust was there, things have been great ever since. Last time I saw you, we were on a court together playing pickup ball. Oh, yeah. You were pretty good. <laughs> Frank, since he was a reporter, he has my utmost respect. He's a, the consummate news person. He's extraordinarily credible. Sitting next to Frank Buckley, I have learned so much uh, about the news business, about breaking news, about getting it right. I'm Frank Buckley along with Jessica Holmes. We are following breaking news out of Ventura County where the Woolsey fire continues to burn homes. Obviously, there's been a lot of big breaking news stories. This is uh, breaking our hearts this morning. And a lot of tragedies, sadly. And there's nobody I'd rather sit next to to cover those kinds of things than Frank. To his enormous credit, he's taken his passions and poured them into projects affiliated with us. 200, 300 episodes of this Frank Buckley's interviews. Welcome to Frank Buckley interviews. My guest is Kobe Bryant. Gene, thanks for doing the Frank Buckley interviews. Great to see you. I feel so lucky to be able to do Frank Buckley interviews. It's not something that you typically would get to do at a local TV station to go in depth a full half hour with one person to go beyond sort of the typical sound bites, to really get deep into a story with someone. It is one of my great passions and joys, and I feel so fortunate that KTLA allows me to do this. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah. One of the things that is wonderful about working at KTLA is that I can actually be part of this community, and KTLA has always supported all of us uh, in our community endeavors. In my case, my son who has type one diabetes, I became part of the JDRF community, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. There Here he in is. the caboose. Thank you, Frank, we're waving at you. Thanks for all the work you do with JDRF. And KTLA has always supported me in that, whether it was in dealing with things that my son was going through or helping us to get out awareness, to raise funds, to defeat type 1 diabetes. And so I'm forever grateful for that. We do this for you, the home viewer. Look at these happy people here at Huntington Beach. Mai-hichi, mai-nichi, bokura wa te pan no pam pam pam. One of my favorites. Ue de yakarete, yani na chao yo. You know that song, you remember that one. It's on my iPod. I just feel so lucky to go to work every day. I wake up in the mornings and I literally, in the dark, sit on the side of my bed and a smile emerges on my face. I do it almost every morning, because uh, I know I'm about to wake up, go to work with, with these friends and colleagues, 
and help Southern California to get going every day. What could be better than that? Nice. Oh, that was great. It wasn't that what do you, How do you feel looking back? I want to, as like everyone else, I want to thank Layla and Brian and Todd for putting it together. Yeah. It's, I don't know how they do it. I it's know. It's terrific. I know. We're um, so lucky. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know what's, I think we realized too, looking back, there's so many things, and you said it a couple of times. I don't remember that. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. And there's just so many moments and... Yeah, we're just lucky to be here with you guys every morning and we we thank you most of all for watching and making this possible. Such a privilege. It yeah. really is. And yeah. we want to share our love uh, for our 30th anniversary with you. So now's your chance to win one of our really cool swag bags with this anniversary mug and all sorts of surprises. Text the code word <laughs> home viewer <laughs> one word to 515151 right now. The 30th entry will win one of you. Home viewers yes. will win this swag awesome. bag.